Hey, this is Brandon. A lot of people are getting interested in the new Drip X and some folks want to create an LP. So that's what this video is going to talk about. I do live stream twice uh, a week, Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern and Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern, where I can get into more details about Drip X and how it works. And also I always have live Q&A. So make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications. If we get enough people showing up for the live streams, I do also give away 20 bucks worth of crypto for free. So anyway, to create a liquidity position, the first thing you need to understand is, is what you're actually doing when you create a liquidity position. So we're talking about V3, which is concentrated liquidity, which means you get to specify a price range for your liquidity position. Your liquidity position is making a market. You're taking the opposite side of every single swap. So before you even consider creating an LP, you have to understand that and decide whether or not this is the right thing for your money and your investment strategy. Let me explain that. So right here, you can see the price of DripX BNB was going up. So traders are buying you are selling by the time price got up here to the top of the range you were sold out of drip x tokens you no longer had any drip x tokens in your liquidity position you had at that point all bnb in your liquidity position now what happens when traders sell and this was just a few transactions from one particular trader but we won't get into that when traders are selling your liquidity position is buying when the price gets to the bottom of your range you have no more supply <laughs> you don't have any bnb left to buy drip x and so your position becomes 100 percent drip x here and if the price continues to fall you're now holding a bag of drip x tokens that is continuing to fall in value so understand that and realize that if price overruns your range in either direction, there's a consequence to that. Now, this is pretty clear. You're holding a bag of Drip X tokens that's dropping in value. That's not good. But this direction is also not awesome because once price reaches the top of your range, you are now sold out of DripX tokens. You don't have any more DripX tokens to sell. And now you're just holding BNB. Well, what if the price does 100x from there? You're not capturing any of that. You don't have any DripX tokens left. So by providing liquidity, when price overshoots your range, you're capping your gains. You're capping your returns. So Let's get into the nitty gritty. So if you if you want to do that, by all means, uh, you know, watch the rest of this video and I'm ex I'm going to explain how to create an LP. Now, you can choose a token that's less volatile uh, or a pair that's less volatile. For example, Drip X and Drip, uh, Wrapped Drip, uh, or even less volatile, Wrapped Drip BNB, which is my preference. Or you can go even less volatile on something like, for example, BNB and USDT. So if you've decided that you want to go ahead and do this, I'm going to show you how to do this on wrap drip BNB. First thing you need to decide is what is your price range going to be? Now, I like to do things on the chart. Take this little ruler tool over here or measuring tool. This is on deck screener. Click it on the current price and drag it to where you want the top of your range to be on that little blue box it says 15.6 percent okay maybe you think there's going to be support and the price won't go lower than this minus 7.8 percent so play with that measuring tool and think about or determine where you want your max to be and where you want your min to be in percentage terms it's going to be easier if you just do it in percentage terms your range is going to be the same distance uh, above and below then the capital you're going to need for that is going to have to be 50 50. in other words you're going to have to have the same value of wrapped drip tokens and the same value of bnb tokens 
in your wallet before you even start the process. Now, what if you want to have only a small distance on the low end, but a large distance on the upper end? Then it's not going to be 50-50. It's going to be imbalanced. If price is towards the lower end of your range, you need to have, in this case, more wrapped drip than BNB because Again, if the traders are buying the token, you're going to have to have more wrap drip to sell on the way up to this upper end of your range. Whereas if traders are selling the token, you're buying, you don't need as much BNB value in your liquidity position to go ahead and buy wrap drip all the way down. So before you start the process on pancake swap, you're going to need tokens in your wallet, but it's not necessarily going to be 50-50. It might be more like 2080 in terms of the dollar value of your wrap drip and the dollar value of your BNB. So again, use the measuring tool and start at the current price and then go down here. So again, that's going to be, I'm going to call it 8%. So that'll give me a little bit more room and all the way up to 2.5 cents. Let's just say 55%. So minus eight and plus 55, that's going to be my range. So I'm going to come over here to pancake swap, go to trade and go to liquidity. Now I've already gone into and out of a wrap drip BNB position. So it's going to show a closed position right here. I'm going to add a new one by clicking to add liquidity. It doesn't matter the order here. So BNB is one of the tokens. The other one is going to be wrap drip. Now, what if you don't have this showing up in the UI? You're going to have to copy and paste the token address for wrap drip. What's the token address for wrap drip? Look on deck screener, hide the little ad that it puts over here and you will see here's the token wrap drip and here's wrapped BNB. Don't worry about having to wrap your BNB. PancakeSwap will do that for you automatically. So I'm just going to copy the token address for wrap drip. And then when I'm selecting my other token and just paste that in and you'll have to acknowledge the warning that, you know, hey, anybody can create a token. Now, with some pairs, you'll have multiple choices here as far as the different fee tiers. This is a fee that's going to pancake swap. Um, so you do have to pay the fee. That's just the nature of the beast. Now, what did we say the price range was? Well, I said minus eight and plus 55. What I'm going to do is just start out by just clicking this default button. And this is going to set the range to minus 10 and plus 10. But I also wanted you to notice that it's displaying the price in wrapped drip per BNB. It's not showing you dollars in the case of this because there is no dollar token in this pair. So it's always going to show you the price of the token or the ratios based on the two tokens that are actually in the pool. So that makes it kind of weird. And that's why I suggested to just do your percentages. Now, I also don't want to look at these prices in terms of wrap drip per BNB. I want it to be the other way around. So I'm going to switch this button right here. Now it's going to show me how many BNB per wrap drip. So what is the price of wrap drip in terms of BNB? It's still not showing me dollars and cents, but it's a lot. It's, it's going to be right side up <laughs> this way. Otherwise, it's going to be upside down. It's going to be opposite. Oh, and by the way, you can also change this chart. You see right here, it says USD. You can toggle this. Now it's going to show you the prices. It's still the same chart, but it's now showing you the prices of wrap drip in terms of BNB. How many BNB do you have to spend to buy yourself one wrap drip token? You know, very small number, right? So that's what these prices are here. But again, we're just dealing with percentages. So what I'm going to do is zoom in and drag this to the minus 8%. Then I'm going to drag this to about 55. Now you can fine tune it down here. So for example, it's my min price is 8.8% away. So I can just bump this up a little bit uh, and I can even enter actual numbers here. Yeah, it's not allowing me to get super granular with this, but that's okay. Now you can also go full range, which means there's no minimum, there's no maximum. You're just going to get fees no matter what the price does. But the APR is going to be much lower on that. The tighter you have your range, the higher APR is going to be. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and throw all of my wrap drip into here. Fortunately, I have enough BNB in my wallet to cover the BNB side. So like I said, it's gonna be more value in wrap drip, 1,565 bucks versus BNB. The lower end of my price range, I only need so much BNB to buy up wrap drip if the price goes down to the lower end of my range, but I need a bunch of wrap drip to cover me and to make that market all the way up to, you know, plus plus 55%, okay? Now I've done this before, so I've already approved the wrap drip token for this contract, but if you haven't done this before, then there's gonna be an approval here where you have to enable that wrap drip token or whatever token you're doing. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and add that liquidity. You know what, I just changed my mind. <laughs> I want better APR and I want to tighten my range to get a better APR. What if I just go like right there? Let me delete that because I don't really need that. So what if I go down that 8% and I only go up? Oof, that's really tight. Let me go 12% up. Now again, I'm take the risk I'm taking here is if the top of my range is plus 12%, then if the token starts going up, traders are buying the token, my liquidity position is selling the token, I'm going to be sold out. I won't have any more wrap drip left when it hits the top of my range. And so I'm capping my gains. But if I notice that it starts to pump, what I can do is adjust my range. I can pull the liquidity position and enter a new price range. So that's what I'm gonna do. So let's refresh this. Again, we're showing the amount of BNB that you would have to spend to get one wrap drip token. And we're showing the wrap drip token in terms of BNB. Zoom in here, 10%. Why is it doing that? Oh, insufficient balance. Okay, so it doesn't like it. So rather than doing my wrapped drip maxed out, I'll do my BNB maxed out. Now I don't want to spend all of my BNB because I need to have some left over for gas fees and stuff. Let me leave myself like 0 0.05 BNB for fees. So now what this is going to do is first of all, look at the APR. It's crazy. 2,800%. So I'm going to be earning a lot of fees. Actually, I need to, there, that's better. So that's, I want this at eight. I want this at, what do we say, 12, right? Or let's try 11, 14. Let's go with 14. So minus 8.9 plus 30. It keeps changing because the price is changing, but that's going to put 58,000 of my wrap drip so I'll still have roughly 42,000 left over in case it moons. It's gonna put almost all of my BNB in there. Okay, and you can play around and you might have to swap some wrap drip for BNB or, or the other way around to make sure you have enough tokens in your wallet to actually put the liquidity in at the prices that you want. 825% APR ain't bad. And it, it'll go up and down depending on the swap volume. So Rabi is telling me 59,000 wrap drip, 1.63 BNB, whatever the gas fee is gonna be. So now if I go back to my liquidity, it shows me my active position. Uh, your wallet gets an NFT when you do this. I have another video where I can show you how, uh, how you add that transaction in Coinly. You have to do like a dummy transaction for LP tokens because you can't split the NFT. Anyway, that's another, uh, that's content for another video. There's my liquidity position. A lot of the main liquidity pools on PancakeSwap, you can take that NFT and you can stake it over here on the farm to earn extra rewards in the form of cake tokens from PancakeSwap. That's just something that PancakeSwap does. Uh, in the case of kind of a specialized LP like Wrap Drip or certainly Drip X, there's no farm for it. So all you're getting is just the fees. But the APR is uh, very attractive and you'll start earning fees immediately. Okay. So again, uh, that's going to be it for the video, but I do stream live uh, on Mondays at 6 p.m. Eastern, Wednesdays at 4 p.m. Eastern. Make sure to subscribe, turn on the notifications. Uh, you want YouTube to notify you when I go live because all you have to do is show up. And if we get enough people showing up and tuning in for the live stream, I'm going to do a giveaway. 
So just giving away 20 bucks worth of crypto in an airdrop. So otherwise, thank you for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend.